called Collingwood, Ontario and inside the historic Eddie Bush Memorial Arena, which is home to our 3HL Tour second tournament, the Remembrance Day Collingwood Classic. And it is Remembrance Day where we are remembering those who fought so hardly for our country and for our freedom and we'll be acknowledging them in our pregame ceremonies later on with Jim as the captains come out and take the ice. On the ice right now we have the London Threes and the Hamilton Tigers who have a rematch set and a date booked for that semi-finals rematch. If you're joining us just now live, thanks so much for joining the 3HL's live broadcast. On the broadcast with me today, it's my pleasure to work with Anthony Regan and Pat Gregoire, our play-by-play -play commentator and color commentator. Of course, I'm Sam McDade, your ringside host. Thanks so much for tuning in. Gentlemen, how excited are you to get this tournament underway? Sam, we're very, very excited, actually, but not as excited as Rich Wigmore. I was just watching him go through the little details. He's tracking pucks like a cat that's noticed there's a mouse in the house. <laughs> he really is. He's focused on that extra little foot movement. He's extra sharp. You know why? Hamilton Tigers, they handed them a bit of a lopsided affair last time in London, and I think Rich Wigmore and the London Threes are looking for uh, a Bob Marley song. Something about redemption. Yes, big-time redemption. They were embarrassed on their home ice, and this is a team that was pegged to be not just a huge, huge piece for that tournament in London, the, the heavy favorites, but a heavy favorite going forward. So they have a lot to prove. They have to prove that they're one of the top teams. And I mean, you talk about one of the top teams right now, it's Hamilton as they sit atop of the, the standings, but there it is there. So Hamilton, London, uh, they're just about to get underway. Next up, it's the Battle of York between Aurora and Newmarket. And in game three, Simcoe takes on Oshawa. Simcoe obviously being the hometown heroes for this game. And then it's the Niagara Rapids, the first ever game in the 3HL Tour for them, taking on a team that's established themselves as one of the most dominant teams in all of 3 on 3 Pro Hockey. I'm talking about the Guelph Brewers. So lots and lots of intrigue around all these first round matchups. I'm excited. I know you're excited as well. I, I am indeed. I can't wait to see the Hamilton Tigers. Uh, I was in the pregame show was talking about the first shutout ever recorded at Maple Leaf Gardens was pitched by a gentleman named Phil Stein who only went on to play one game for the Leafs but he's playing for the Toronto Marlboros at the time and he played against the Hamilton Tigers and they beat them six to nothing. They, we have players uh, from all the teams on the ice of course it's time for our opening ceremonies Pat. A huge round of applause for Mayor Cooper and all of our supporters from the Collingwood Council. Who's ready for some three-on-three -three pro hockey? Uh, Diamond Jim Lowe calling uh, the mayor of Collingwood the coolest mayor in Ontario. I, I echo tough, that. Tough to argue. Tough no, to argue that. Indeed. Wheeling out on the Jets there. Awesome to see Sandra Cooper. She told me, actually, at the press conference, she said, guys, listen. I don't need a carpet out there because I was talking to one of the uh, arena attendants here saying, we do our pregame ceremony, yeah. we need people to you know, walk out. And she yeah. stopped me mid-conversation and said, no, 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 I don't need a carpet. I skate out. And I laughed. She goes, no, really. That's great. I skate out. Oh, that's I, wonderful. Awesome to see that. And so. what a terrific job done by St. Mary's Elementary School with the singing of our national yes. anthem for Remembrance Day. Doesn't get any better than that. We are underway here in Collingwood, the Eddie Bush Memorial Arena. Beautiful facility. Who had a first chance in on net here. Belonging to the Tigers. They're settling things down. Phil Brewer. That return feed from the back end from David Russell. Into the corner it goes. Dustin Alcock. As they go around, Aaron Darch takes a look around. Finds lots of room. Comes down the right wing side. Patty Morgan. Stopping up. Laying it back to Spencer McCormick. Talking to Mitch Scott yesterday, he said they're really, really trying a new strategy here. He just said if you're a basketball fan, you might be able to figure it out. Something tells me it might be the triangle <laughs> offense that you see. So we'll have to see if, uh, if the strategy is going to pay off for the London Threes, who definitely deserve a better outcome than they received uh, up in London on home ice last time they, these two teams met. Uh, although London did get to that next round, so they did get some money to pay for gas and everything else <laughs> to get there to the next tour. So, And as well, Mitch Scott, that's his Penalty dad's up. band that's playing out there in the corner right now. They're a tremendous sounding band. Yes, yes, it, it, that, that is their, uh, sorry, his father's band. They're a local Collingwood band, and we're going to see actually the London Threes get an opportunity here with the Winwell 
penalty shot. Winwell penalty shot. Here we go. There's chasers, of course. Here's a chance. Clean cut breakaway. Oh, glove. Looks like Brent Leggett got a piece of the puck and just steered it up into the mesh and out of play. That was off the stick of number uh, 23. Is that McConaughey? Darren McConaughey? I don't have a 23. We do it must apologize. be Darren McConaughey because he's the latest addition. So. I imagine so. Okay, here they come. Right wing side. This is Evan Walker. Walker takes a look. Couldn't sift his pass past Josh Rinaldi. But they've got it again, London does. Back to the blue line, which is center, Patty Morgan. Taking a look at the net. He looked off. And now we've got Walker again. Making a few adjustments on the fly right now as Patty Morgan's got the biscuit. Stopped up. Great pass. There's a lane to the net. Good blocker stop. And then it's gloved aside by Alcock. Aaron Dickinson's wearing 19 for the London Trees, and he's back for the puck now. He is working against Mike Roberto, number 10. Robert Aaron Dickinson, Collingwood native, played for the Blues back when they had a junior A team, so oh, yes. lots of connections with Mitch Scott and him playing here. So, so there's many Saturday nights here yes. in the Collingwood Eddie Bush Arena. Tell you something about who Eddie Bush was. Oh, that one goes wide of the mark there. He was a very famous coach as well. He was a coach of the junior C team. Hamilton on a breakaway. Oh, there's Rich Wigmore. I told you he was working on his feet. And he made a great stop right there. Seen that so many oh, times. Here we go. Sublime pass. Patty Morgan can't oh. solve Brett Leggett. Great. Brett Leggett standing strong in between the pipes so far. He didn't play last tournament as it was. Oh. oh. Chop. <laughs> How do you like your chop? Right under the crossbar. Just chopped right up in the air. And we have a one nothing game. That was Jeff Kaster, was it? Uh, the uh, the man who was doing a little golfing action? Yeah, Jeff Kaster here with a beautiful feed. Backhand sauce from Mike Roberto. And Kaster just chops that one down and bingos. Kaster. And it's funny, at the blue line, one of the Hamilton players was waiting to make sure he didn't go in offside. But there is no offside. Hamilton once again. Looking to the back end. Shot didn't make it through to the mark though. It's backhanded along the wall. And here comes London. Hustling down ice. Mitch Scott stopped up at the blue line there. And he's making sure he stays in a defensive position. He's got the puck now out at center. Takes a look. Sifts a long shot Oof. through. That one seemed to have the heat taken out of it at the last minute. Brewer takes a look. He's alone. So he's going to go into the corner and rag the puck. Mitch Scott says, no, you don't. My dad's watching this game. <laughs> I got to be tough on you. The High Road, That's their their name is The High Road. They're a very popular band here. And listening to them warm-ups, I see why, because they were yeah. awesome. Yeah, they, they are outstanding, actually. they got a, a great uh, guitar core. They have very, very tight vocals. Speaking of tight there, Rich Wigmore was tight to the pipe but didn't allow that one in. Very nice. And we got a hooking call, so another Winwell penalty shot is coming up, my good friend. But this time it will be Hamilton as Chad Spur. Chad Spur actually says, hands that off. Smart play. <laughs> Josh Rinelli. As Josh Rinelli had four points, sorry, three points uh, up in Ham or London last week. Nice yeah. save, Rich Wigmore. Yeah, you try and beat him glove side. Good luck to you. He's been uh, electric, Wigmore has. You could see he was working on the little things. That the, the one goal that got past him, Jeff Kaster just sort of said, here's a Hail Mary. If it goes in, it does. And it, and you know what? When you're when you're good, you get a little bit of luck as well. That is all too true. Sir. In over the blue line, cut into the middle. Nearly had itself dispossessed there by Mike Roberto. Pass back. Shot. It's a broken one off a couple of legs. Made its way through to the net. Chipped off the boards. Two on one shaping up here for Hamilton. Darch is back. Darch did a great job of laying down his stick, but well, he got a little help there as well. So Darch has it and settles things down a little. Looks like London wants to make a change. Darch, one of the all time, or actually the all time leading score, goal scorer and point scorer for the London Nationals Junior B team. So another London native on this team. And He's got a ton of scoring talent, but hasn't scored on the tour just yet in two games. That's right, and he, I remember his uh, his banner hanging yes. there in the London uh, fairgrounds there. Oh, look at this little give and go. It's looking filthy, but oh, it hurt Jeff Kaster a little. So he got his leg in the way of that one. Who said there were no block shots in three-on-three -three hockey? <laughs> oh, there's tons of them. 
some are <laughs> incidental or not. Like, oh, absolutely beauty there. Dustin Alcock right under the crossbar makes it 2-0. Dustin Alcock, another one of these Hamilton players who had an outstanding performance up in London. Just a little to avoid the check from Spencer McCormick, and he goes upstairs on Rich Wigmore to give this team a 2-0 lead. Now, when you're a goaltender, you can reach out to the pipe, but back towards your ears a little more difficult because of all the padding, and that's where the shot was placed. Tighter to the ear, tighter to the mask, so you've got a bit of uh, room there, and Rich Wigmore couldn't seem to uh, make the stop. It was a well-placed shot, though, and they cut back against the grain in order to protect the puck. And Mike Roberto, so a 2-0 lead for Hamilton but we know London they can score at will they do miss some of their top players uh, for here today but Patty Morgan Spencer McCormick those are guys that no doubt can light the lamp as uh, our friend Sam McDade would say they certainly can we know Rich Wigmore can come up with some incredible game saving stops when he is called upon already but Mitch Scott juggling up the line so we see Scott Heading out now with Spencer McCormick, who's going to play a, a defensive role alongside Darren McConaughey. McConaughey in for the draw. And the Tigers take first possession here in the second frame. Oh, what a lovely redirect in front. It was there, but wide of the mark in front of Rich Wigmore. In back of the net, London starting out now. Circling around is Darren McConaughey. There's a hard shot, blocker to side, rebound was there for a second. But it's uh, Simon Mangos getting the puck forward. Right here's Spur with it once again. Spur tried to chop that one in front of the net, and there's a stick that brought a man down, but no call on the play, so no more win well penalty shots for the time being, anyway. And spinning away from some pressure, it's uh, Mangos again. He's trying to chew up some time. He finally dishes off to Mike Roberto. Roberto cut into the middle. Finds a man just off the bench. It's Jeff Caser who opened up the scoring in this first game here in Collingwood. Remembrance Day, 3HL. Hamilton now. Again, pass comes across. I do apologize. I got some of the numbers backwards. Mike Roberto's wearing 9 and Mangos is wearing 10. So I, I do apologize. We're making some adjustments on the fly. So the assist actually then goes to Simon Mango. So that's his first point on the 3HL Tour. He was not here last uh, tournament in London. So congrats oh. to uh, Mangos. Yes, indeed. Oh, and there's uh, one of the players blowing a tire out there. As Morgan finds his man. That's blocker to side once again. Brett Leggett's just looking like a brick wall. Oh, but here's a chance. And a good look at the net. Oh, you got to get up early to read Brett Leggett glove side, don't you? He's got quick hands both sides. Yeah, Brett Leggett looked awesome in the preseason tournament. A big reason why this Hamilton team went undefeated, picking up two wins and a loss. But he wasn't there last week, or sorry, I should say last tournament. But, I mean, he certainly looks fine as he shut the door every time London's thrown something at his way. It has been solid thus far for his team. Here comes the threes. They need some goals badly. Darch mentioned his prowess at Junior B as he goes into the end boards, or the side boards anyway, and gathers himself up. Looks like Darch is going to head off. A long pass springs a man, but he cannot solve Rich Wigmore. That was uh, Chad Spur walking down Main Street. Or here Ontario Street, I think is his call here, right? <laughs> Here they go again. The Tigers looking to pad the lead and go up by three on the threes, but unable to do so as we get a little bit of uh, just a little confab in front of the net. Chad Spur, one of those other players with a, a lot of pro hockey experience playing the ECHL, the Central Hockey League, before it amalgamated with the East Coast Hockey League and then also had a, a career in the OHL. So this Hamilton team, a lot, a lot of pro hockey experience on their roster and a big reason why they were so successful in their first tournament. Yes, indeed. And they play well together too, don't they? It's like they've been playing three on three for a lot longer than just a couple of short tournaments. Pass back with nobody home on the receiving end there. So that's one of those unforced turnovers. Let's see, though, if London can make it pay off for them. As we get to Dipsy and a little bit of Doodle. 
but I don't think Mike Roberto was biting on that. Hamilton now under some duress. There's a pass right in front. I'm unable to take that one as it was in the skates of Spencer McCormick. Wow. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> was that Phil Brewer? Phil Brewer. Wow. And that is what you call an individual effort. Picking the pass off and coming in all alone, kicking in it into fifth gear and just goes it's the face. right over the blocker oh. of Rich Whitmore. And he bit so hard on that little fake. Oh, and there we go. The other way. We have a 3-1 game now. Aaron Darch scoring his first three-on-three -three professional hockey goal. And that one comes from another newcomer in Evan Walker. So they might have to split that puck in half as it's a first assist and a goal for these two kids. Glad I'm not the athletic trainer, you know. Like, trying to saw one down the middle and put the tape on it. Here we go. That's a big goal, by the way. Isn't Going it? down 3 nothing, but you can reply right away 3-1. I know they say the worst lead in hockey is two, two goals. goals. Is that the same in three-on-three -three hockey, though? Yeah, you know what? That's a, great, <laughs> that's a great question. I'm not really sure. In the corner now, a crowd gathers. Hamilton's got it here. Kaster once again throws this one in the slot and then gets it back near the blue line. Making a change on the fly. Nifty little pass on the backhand. Springs the man who has done the damage. Chad Spur. Oh, a quick little pass down. Ice and two on one here for London. This is just what they needed. Tried to force one home alone. Scores! Got the rebound there. Pulled it away from Brett Leggett. Stuffing it home there. So Mitch Scott has made it a 3-2 game. I know Sandra Cooper is the mayor of yeah. Collingwood, but Mitch Scott has to be close. <laughs> he has to be close. Nice. Scores a goal there. First goal of the season, second season in the league. And Mr. Collingwood himself brings this game to 3-2. Yes, indeed. He's playing for London, though. Don't forget the Simcoe County Clippers are still to come. They are yes. technically the home team. Although, where you're from... Yeah, that never leaves you, of course. No, of course not. I know he's got a lot of people in the building. So does his father playing in the band here tonight, the High Road. So a lot of Scott fans in attendance. It's just which fan of which Scott. Yeah, that's right. Because there's a couple to choose from here yeah. this evening. Rich Wigmore's to the bench. Down to 52 seconds. So all bets are off, folks. They have an empty net to shoot at, though. Hamilton does. And the thing with three-on-three -three hockey, no icing. So you yeah. will see players take chances, shoot from anywhere on that empty cage. All right, there's a chance that Patty Morgan didn't want. The, pa the pass he was trying to make rolled off the end of his stick. So his indirect pass was gobbled up. Now he takes a good look down ice. He's got it himself. He elects to step around his man. He's got... Phil Brewer marking him now in over the blue line. Half wall. A couple of players from Hamilton converging on the puck carrier. But they've won the battle. They've got it back. But is there enough time? 17 seconds to go here in the first. They're down by a goal. $2,000 goes to whoever comes out on oh. top. That centering pass goes for not down to eight seconds now. Oh, oh, and a high stick clips. Roberto, who plays on Brewer now. That's going to do it. So we caught the high stick, the officials didn't, but Hamilton's caught the A-train to the next round. Hamilton, the winning continues, moves to 4-0 and oh on the season. That was the closest game though for them, right? Yes, it not? absolutely, yeah. a 3-2 game. Maybe you could argue the Aurora game was pretty close as well. Yeah. It was a two-goal game, but now up to $9,000 in earning in just four games. I think these guys are start starting to think, I kind of like this three-on-three -three pro hockey thing. <laughs> but let's be honest, this road at some point is going to get tougher for Hamilton. And they'll admit that was a definitely, definitely a tough game. And it looks like Sam McDade is going to be joined by one of those members of the Hamilton Tigers. And I believe it is Josh Rinaldi. So, Sam, take it away. Thanks, Pat. Like you said, alongside Josh Rinaldi. Josh, a little bit of a contest there in the end for the buzzer beater. What was your thoughts in that final minutes? You know what? It was a scary one there, but first game's over with. That's always the hardest one. So. You guys coming into this tournament after winning last tournament, do you feel you have a target on your back in this one? Yeah, I think everyone does in this. You know, you only get 14 minutes, so you got to make the most of it. Can you tell me a little bit of the game plan heading into semis? Oh, uh, yeah, just uh, try and rest in between games, and that's about it. Awesome. Thanks, Josh. Thank you.